शुक्लाबरदरम विष्णु शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदन ध्यानोपशा दौर्भीयुक्ता चतुर्भिस्फटिक मनीम दस्तेनेक पद्म सीतमी चुक पुस्तक चापरेण भाषा कुंदे दुशंक स्फटिक मनी भा निवसतु वसने सर्वदा सुप्रसन्ना कूजंतम राम रामेती मधुरम मधुराक्षर आरोह्य कविता शाखा वंदे वाकिकोकिल वाकेर्मुनिंह से वनचारिण शृण्वन राम कथानाद कोणयाति परा गति गोष्पतीशी मशकीकृतराक्षस रायन महामला वंदे नीलात्मज यघुनाथ कीर्तन त्र तमस्तकांजलि बाष्पवारी पिपूर्णलोचन मारुती नमतराक्षसातक वैदेही सहित सुरद्रुमतले हईमे महामंडपे पकमासने मनीमे वीरासने सुस्थि अग्रे वाचयति प्रभंजन सुते तत्व मुनिभ्य परम व्याख्या भरतादि परवृत राम भजे श्यामल नमोस्तु राय स लक्ष्मनाय जनकात्मजाये नमोस्तु रुद्रेन्द्र यमानिलेभ्य नमोस्तु रुद्र कमुद्गणेभ्य हरि ओ So we saw eight sargas in Ayodhya Kandam so far, where in the eighth sarga, Mantara has completely churned the mind of Kaikeyi. So she is Mantara. She has completely churned the mind of Kaikeyi and completely brainwashed her. Although Kaikeyi was initially very happy. Uh, to hear that rama is going to be anointed as the next uh, yuvaraja but uh, in the eighth sarga she poisoned her mind we saw some shlokas um and uh, now kaikeyi is uh, clear that uh, for her own benefit and for the benefit of her son it is better that uh, bharata is the next uh, yuvaraja so that's where we sort of uh, stopped so today we will see i think um, more than three sargas we can't go i also i every time think five sargas i should do but i don't think it is going to happen because uh, there are uh, quite a few shlokas we have to see uh, to not only know the story story we know but to see the tatparya of certain things that are happening so that is what uh, we will do today so ninth sarga uh, now that uh, kaike is uh, quite convinced that uh, bharata has to be the king so mantara takes the next step she puts a detailed plan how to make it happen she somehow wants to make sure that uh, the plan is perfect so that uh, kaikeyi can achieve what she needs to achieve so that is uh, the uh, plan uh, described in sarga 9 um, first of all in the first 10 shlokas kaikeyi makes it amply clear she makes it very clear i am now convinced 
that Bharata has to be the king, not Rama. Only if Bharata is the king, uh, <laughs> it is good for me and for Bharata. So she, uh, you know, thanks Mantara for uh, making sure that her mind is clear now. And then request Mantara to her plan also how to go about. See, it is one thing to say, I want to do. Another thing is to do it. So you have to work out a plan. And a foolproof methodology is required. It's a very nice plan. Uh, that uh, uh, the way the whole thing is done is what makes... The story is not uh, so much that uh, Dasharatha simply gave up. It is how did she set the mousetrap? That is the most important thing. So you will again, uh, you know, some shlokas I will sh show, but you know, if you are interested, you can always go and see the remaining shlokas. For want of time, we were seeing some of them. So uh, then Mantara tells Kaikeyi, Kaikeyi, you, I do not know whether, there is one shloka which says that, I do not know whether you have forgotten or not, I do not know. But, or I do not know whether you want me to say that. You may remember, but you want me to say that. There is one shloka like that. I want to recollect something to you, which you must be knowing. Then she narrates that story of that uh, Yuddha between Asura and the Devas. And then Mantara, all those happens. And the ten shlokas, she says, two times you saved your husband. He was wounded, Dasharada was wounded and he was unconscious and so on. You saved him two times. Therefore, he gave you two boons. And now it is a time for you to ask that boon. So she just sparks that. She simply tells, I, maybe you remember you want me to say that. Since I am so much uh, you know, worried about your welfare, I will therefore tell you. So she narrates that story. That is that uh, shlokas 11 to 20. Then uh, also Mantara says, how do you actually, what boon you should ask and how should you ask? You can't simply, you know, when Dasharada comes, you say, you remember once upon a time, sit down on a chair and have a discussion and tell, you remember three years back, ten years back, uh, you know, you promised me that you'll give me two boons. No, she puts a very nice plan. She says, how should you present yourself? And up to what time you should keep quiet? That much detail. If you look at the shlokas, you'll find. Up to what time you should keep quiet? And when is the time you have to ask? So that plan is laid out in about 14 shlokas, that uh, 14 shlokas, 21 to 35. Uh, then uh, Kaikei is very happy that uh, Mantra indeed uh, took care of her. And Kaikei said that, you know, I should give you, I don't know, what are all the gifts? And she says, I have seen so many kubjas, the crooked pack. But nobody is like you. You know, you are very beautiful and with the ornaments I give and with the white dress, you look like a swan. All nice praises about her that she is an uh, out of the ordinary kubja. Uh, you know, hunchback. She is a very special hunchback. So, Kaikei showers a lot of praise on uh, uh, Mantara. And Kaikei is all set. She is mentally ready to extract her pound of flesh from the Sharata. So those are uh, laid out in these 66 shlokas in this uh, sarga. We will see about 6-7 shlokas. Krodha garam pravishyadya kruddeva shvapate sute seshwa nantar hita yam tvam bhumau malina vasini These are a set of instructions. I pulled only one or two instructions, not all of them. So... Mantra is telling, how should you, you know, prepare yourself. So, she says, Ashwapate he sute. That is the last in the first line. It says, Kruddha iva. Kruddha iva, you should pretend to be very, very angry. Kruddha iva, Ashwapate he sute. He Ashwapate he sute. Oh, sir, daughter of Ashwapati. I will tell you, what should you do? Right? You first get into the Krodha Garam, that chamber where you normally go when you are very upset. So that itself first has to create that context, no? The ambience has to be there. So if she is upset, normally she she goes into a Krodha uh, chamber of, uh, you know, wrath or chamber of anger or whatever. So first go there. Okay? Pravishya, Adya. Adya means now, not necessarily today. 
since the conversation is happening on the day adhya actually means now you have to you know take that kind of a meaning so you get into the chamber and khurda eva you have to first pretend that you are very angry because a short while ago she was very happy that uh, rama is going to be anointed now your your mind has been changed so you know khurda eva okay anantar hitayam without uh, without any uh, this thing spread on the floor without any carpet or any you know anantar hitayam right bhumo right malina vasini uh, this uh, uh, this thing your uh, the cloth all you know malina means dirty old uh, torn sort of all that we can attribute that kind of a meaning there right tom bhumo seshwa seshwa you be on the is lay on the ground with a soil dirty cloth as though you are very angry right on the bare floor not with a nice carpet or a sort of a bed sheet or something on the floor you just throw yourself is a you know one instruction she gives <coughs> then she says masmai nam pratyudikshita ma chainam abhibhashata rudanti chapitam drushtwa jagatyam shokalalasa tam drishtwa having seen he will come he will anyway going to come when dasharatha comes tam drishtwa as soon as he, you see him you have now do certain other things right until then don't do let him come so tam drishtwa ma masma enam pratyudikshay pratyudikshita don't see him diksha is the side so ma mastu don't do don't even look at him however much he draws your attention don't look at him that's the first instruction that she says macha enam abhibhashata don't talk to him he will try to because he will get very obviously concerned tomorrow morning is the big event and there is one um, this lady is in deep trouble so he will be very very concerned so he will start uh, conversing with you don't talk so he says don't look at him right masma enam pratyudikshita macha enam abhibhashata don't uh, look at him then dudanti chapi you be uh, you know cry not see not only balanam rodanam balam eda kadapi stree nam api rodanam balam bhavet <laughs> right not necessarily only eda eda kadapi sometimes even for purusha you know sometimes uh, 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 you know crying can be a source of strength depending on the situation that we are talking about so any anyway, dudanti chapi jagatyam shokalalasa as though you are the most distressed person most agitated person with shoka lalasa shoka lalasa you are agitated and shaken here and there jagatyam as though the biggest distress has ever happened to you in your life put that kind of a uh, mood don't look at him don't talk to him uh, profusely cry and create an impression that biggest uh, you know grief has uh, come upon you in the whole world do all that is it all mantras advice to kaiki nakhyati kramitum shaktah tava vakyam mahipati hi manda swabhave buddhyasva saubhagya balam atmanah na hi atikramitum atikramanam is crossing the limits kramanam atikramanam let's say sankranti we say makara sankranti is called makara sankranti because sun crosses makara sankramanam is crossing kramanam so adikramanam is the limit the boundary so he says na hi atikramitum shaktah ah he won't be able if you put up this kind of a show if you put up this kind of a show tava vakyam atikramitum na shakyah he cannot actually go beyond what he will be trapped by your words see that is the first thing he she is preparing don't uh, rush into telling what you want you create a condition in which he will find it very difficult to not do anything other than what you said that's why he says tava vakyam atikramitum na shakyah mahipati the lord of the world dasharatha that is adjective for dasharatha dasharatha cannot overstep your words if you do all there are other instructions I, we have not looked at all of them right hey manda swabhave 
she is uh, giving her an adjective. You are dull witted. You don't know. I have to tell you all this. The manda sabave, buddhi asa. Get to know this, right? What what you get to know that saubhagya balamatmana. You have a certain strength in you. That strength is uh, had beauty or whatever. In different people have actually translated different ways. So in Ayyad Kanpur, they have used the power of your beauty, which is partly the reason why the Shraddha got succumbed to it also. So that's why they have used that translation. The people have to use different. Point is, you have some strength with you now, because the other strength is the two boons are with you now. That is the strength. So understand, you have strength now. So he cannot transgress your words. If you prepare yourself like this, he cannot transgress your words. Be aware of it. That's what uh, Mantara says. Mani muktam suvarnani ratnani vividhani cha dadya dasharato raja masmate shumanakrita Raja dasharata ha dadyat. In order to pacify you, he will give you something. He may give you something because he has now understood you are in great grief and anger and so on. So Dasharada may try something. And what will he give? Mani muktam. Pearl and mukta and mukta. Na? So he will give you pearls and gems, monies. Suvarnani, lot of gold. Ratnani, precious stones. Right? Vividhani. Dadyat, Dasharataha Raja. He may give all this to you. Masmatesh Manakritaha. Don't focus your attention on any of those. The moment you get a little distracted with that, your single pointed focus will go. So he will try to sort it out for you. He will, I'll give you this, I'll give you that. You know, don't worry, I will do this, I will do that. Why are you bothered about this? Why are these? Uh, what is he to tell me? And he, she has to wait for him to say thousand sentences before even she opens. That's the first instruction. Let him pour out everything and bring him to the brim of what it is. So he says, Masmateshu Manakritaha. Don't pay any attention to any of those. He will try to, you know, in Katopanishad, it's not, you know, context is different. In Katopanishad, after three days of waiting in the Mukhya Dwara of Yamapuri, when Yama came and the Nachiketas, uh, Yama said, you waited for three days. I will give you actually three boons. The kind of uh, distraction when he asked about death, the boy asked about death, but uh, Yama gave so many things. And in this boy was completely unaffected by all that. I mean, there are powerful shlokas there. He says, all these, you keep it with you. They are of no use. One day all of them, Jara and all that will come, get lost. The boy says, keep all of them with you. I don't want all this. So that, there is so much they try to, the boy said, no. So when you have to achieve something, you have to hold on to something. That purpose. So here the purpose is not a very nice purpose, but the, the thread is common. Right? So she says, Masma Manakrita, Masma Manakrita, don't, Teshu Manakrita, don't pay attention to it. Moment you get slightly melted, then you will melt. Don't do that. It's called Ekasesha Buddhi. You use the word, you know, even, even Bhagavad Gita 7th chapter, there is a shloka. Called Ekasesha Buddhi. It is a single pointed focus, nothing else. That is the lakshana of a bhakta which you will find in the 7th chapter of Bhagavad Gita. There is one shloka which talks about the Ekasesha Buddhi. Ramakrishna Paramahamsa used to, in the parable, you will see. Ramakrishna Paramahamsa says that the eagle, which is 10,000 feet away, although it is just going like that, it's constantly looking at that uh, some uh, dead carps, uh, thousand, thousands of feet. It's, it's called Ekasesha. He gives that example, that single pointed focus. Is what uh, is being told here. Yeah, so she gives a few more ideas. She says, do this, do that. Don't uh, talk to him. Whatever he gives, don't take. Never talk to him. Don't even look at him. All that. Then she says, Yevam pravrajitais chaiva ramo ramo bhavishyati bharatas chahata mitraha tavaraja bhavishyati Yevam Prabhrajitaha. So actually in between she says, I think you should ask uh, that Rama must be away for some time. She used to be banished for some time. So Yevam Prabhrajitaha Chaiva. He has been a Prabhrajaka now. Send him out. Rama has to go. Prabhrajitaha Rama. Aramaha Bhavishyati. 
देर इस विषय अवग्रह देर राम है आराम है भविष्य दी रामो रामो भविष्य दी इफ इफ यू इफ यू स्प्लिट द राम है आराम है भविष्य दी ही विल बिकम राम विल बिकम नो राम एट्स व्हाट शी इज सेइंग बाय सेंड हिम अवे फॉर थर्टीन फोर्टीन इयर्स लेट हिम लाइटर ही विल बी गॉन दैट्स ऑल डोंट वरी इट्स व्हाट ही सेइंग रामो रामो भविष्य दी देर इस अवग्रह इन बिटवीन लाकारा इज देर राम है राम है भविष्य दी बरत है चे ऑन द अदर हैंड व्हाट हैपन टू बरत Take out all his enemies, right? And Tavaraja Bhushyati. So he will subdue all his enemies, all Mitra, Amitra ha, Hatha ha Bhushyanti. All of them will go. So he will peacefully be a king. So this is a plan, which is what uh, Mantra finally sort of concludes to Kai Kai. Yena kale na ramascha vanat pratyag mishyati te na kale na putraste. कृतमूलो भविष्यति सुग्रीहितमनुष्यस्य सुग्र सुहृद्बि सार्धमात्मवान् सो शी सेज इसी यू हैव टू सेंड हिम फॉर अ लॉन्गर टाइम थर्टीन फोर्टीन इयर्स व्हाट अवर द फोर्टीन इयर्स सेंड हिम लॉन्गर टाइम व्हाट विल एपन ये न काले न बाय विच यू ऑफ सच अ लॉन्ग एब्सेंस ऑफ रामा फ्रॉम राइट See that is why in today's thing for corruption they say ten years you cannot you cannot you know contest an election. But ten years is very long to get back into you know Janapada. So like that. So she is saying, "Ye na kala na Ramascha vanat pratyagamishyati." After fourteen years, when he comes, right? Let us see. Fourteen years is a long time. After fourteen years, when he comes, "Ye na kala na." By that time. But that is the most wonderful part of Ramayana. See, when the war is over, in the Kannada you should see it. When the war is over, and uh, everything is settled, and uh, Vibhishna has been, you know, uh, Rama, uh, Ravana's anteshti, everything is over. Vibhishna is uh, anointed. They come, they come to Bharadwaja Ashma. Then there is a, such a beautiful episode there. Rama says to Hanuman, "You just go and see. Nandigrama, you go and see. Because fourteen years is a long time for anyone. In case Bharata is very settled in life, he'll simply go. Let's not disturb him. It's a beautiful part in Yudhakanda. You'll see that. What level of character this character called Rama, which I mean, is no parallel to it. So he says, you go and see. He sends Hanuman. He says, go and see." If uh, Bharata is uh, uh, all settled in life, we will. But look at this Bharata war. This is the greatness of Ramayana. When he went there, I mean, I can't say this. My, you know, I get, uh, you know, it's difficult for me to say. When Hanuman goes there, what he saw in Bharata is nothing but, uh, you know, prapati. He was waiting for his. Uh, what? Where can you see this kind of uh, description of characters and? This is why Ramayana has to be read. So here they are saying like this. In Ayodhya Kanda they are saying like this. Go and see in Yudha Kanda what kind of a Rama and a Bharata that we are talking about. He was waiting, and the first two shlokas in Patavishak Sarga you should read. First five shlokas. You know Bharata says he says this is too heavy for me. Now you have come. I am leaving it to. I mean, it's all very high order. You look at the first five shlokas in Patavishak Sarga. What Bharata says is I am relieved. This this burden was too much for me. You have finally come. I will give it to you. This is what Bharata said. In uh, because that's when he meets him uh, formally. Purapravesha uh, sarvam bhavati. They are just now enter. So Bhattavishya sir, only you should see that. So Bharata says uh, this was too much of a burden for me. I am really the beautiful shlokas. There are three four shlokas there. So that is what is the reality. Whereas a kubuddi. He is taking it to elsewhere. That is what you see in Ayodhya Kanda. So he says, "Te na kala na putra hathe krita mula ha bhushyati." You will be deeply rooted. Fourteen years, the, your son will be deeply rooted. Krita mula ha. Your, your origins will be properly established. So that is what he is saying. And sugrihita manushyascha. He will get friends. Fourteen years is good enough for Bharata to create his own. If I had to use today's Political term, 
14 years is good enough to create your own pottery. That's a word I have to use. An equivalent word I have to use. You know, you can create your pottery, you can create your own darbar. Uh, there are people who will always say, you know, whatever you say, they'll nod their head. So that pottery is enough for you to displace. That is the mood of these shlokas. And suhridibhya, uh, right? So you will get uh, people who are all uh, this thing, right? Then uh, dharmatman, people will accept you as uh, this thing. These are all the ideas which uh, uh, Mantara has given to Kaikei. So I have gone to the end of the Sarga now. Uh, I have skipped, because he has praised Mantara. Those are the shlokas in between. I have just skipped all those. I have come to the end of the Sarga. Tata Tividha Mahishi Tukubjaya Samahata Vagishubir Muhur Muhuhu Nidhaya Hasto Hridayeti Vismita Shasham Sakubjam Kupita Punapunaha. See in Ramayana, not only in Ramayana, you will see it in even in Gita. There is a there's a convention. See, it's all in Anushtu. This is not in Anushtu. This is Trishtup, I think. It is 44 Aksharas, I think. See, when you have to say something very emotional or when you have to say something very important or when you have to sort of conclude it with one final thing, that time they will change the meter to catch your attention. Otherwise, you know, sometimes when you say the shloka the same way, your attention goes because mechanically it runs. Now this meter will be different. You can't use the same meter. See, if you look at the previous one, I uttered it slightly differently. You look at it here, I'll utter it differently. Look at, look at here. Evam pravrajitas chaiva ramo ramo bhavishyati baratas chahata mitraha tavaraja bhavishyati. This is Anushtup. Hatha mitra is strength or strength? Hatha, hatha amitra. Hatha amitra. Hatha amitra. Savarna dirga sandhi. Hatha Mitra. Hatha Amitra, Hatha Mitra. So this meter is a short anushtup. So like Vishnu Dasnava, you can say that. Whereas this is longer. This is, you have to say, you can't say like You say, Tata, bit, tata Dividda Mahishi Tukup Jaya. There you have to stop. Slightly longer. One Pada is a little longer. You have to stop there. Sama Hatha Vagi Shubir Muhur Muhuhu Nidaya Hasto Hridaye Tivismita Shasham Sakubjam Kupita Punapuna Slightly longer. Because this is a standard practice when it is very emotional. That's why in chapter 2 of Bhagavad Gita, I when. Yes. You know, entire chapter 11. If you look at chapter 11, when the Vishwarupa Darshan happens, it's a long meter. And when the meter becomes ordinary, when Arjuna says, I want to see your old uh, Chaturpajam, uh, when the moment he says, the meter changes. Because they're always gone. That expression of, that's why in chapter 2 of Bhagavad Gita, when he surrenders, it is a longer meter. Or when he feels very bad, Guru, Nahatva, Numaha, Anubha, Van, there's a long meter. Because it's a very difficult thing. How can I kill my Guru is what he is asking. So it's a very emotional thing. So when something is very emotional, when something is very important, when something is a summary of something, then there is a practice to put. This is the end, last three shlokas in the Sarga. It's all gone out a lot of slogans in Ramayana, last sloka will be longer meter. If you see, almost all sargas, the last will be a longer meter. Because it is catching your attention, it is summarizing. So here he says, Tata, by that time, at that time or whatever, right? Atividda Mahishi to Kubjaya, Samahata Vagishu, Vag Ishubihi Muhur Muhu. This arrow-like words again and again was piercing her. Vag Ishubi Ishu is arrow. So Vag Ishubihi Muhur Muhu Samahata. She is being penetrated with these words again and again. Right? Right? And Atividha, she is greatly this thing. Vidaya hast Vidaya Hastau. Okay. Hridaye, she put her ha hand on her chest. Hridaye. Ati Vismita, right? She was happy because she has given her a plan how to achieve the objective. You know? So it is summarizing the chapter. That's why it is coming like that. Ati Vismita, Shashamsa Kubjam Kupita Punapuna, Prashamsham Kritavati, Kubjayaha Prashamsham Kritavati, Shashamsa, she praised her, Kubjam, 
that hunchback who is nothing but mantara punapunaha right that's what uh, he said she is kupita because uh, you know the kupita has to be taken to the earlier thing right and punapunaha uh, shashamsa so अतुक्वाचनम सुधारुण निधा सर्वा भरना भामिनी असमृता मस्तरणेन मेधिनी तदा दिशिष्य पति किन्नरी शी असत हर सल वेटिंग टू रिसीव दशरथ दैट सीन दिस श्लोक इज शोइंग दैट सीन सीन अत एक उक्वा हेविंग सेट दिस अत प्लस एक अत एक अत एक उक्वा वचनम सुधारुण so very you know very piercing very hurting or whatever sudharunam okay sudharunam right vidaya sarva barnani bhamini she just threw away all her ornaments sarvani abarnani nidaya she just left it off asamrutam astaranena medini tada adisishaye patiteva kinnari she as though she is fallen on the ground patiteva kinnari kinnari see this kim the kim is used as a one of the usage of kim kim plus narah kim plus nari kim nari kinnara kinnari the kim is used in the meaning of ku see in sanskrit ku means bad kuputra kuputro jayate kojita pikumata na bhavati shankaracharya's devi aparatha kshamamra stotra he says kuputro jayate there can be a bad son kojita pikumata na bhavati It's a very, very melting prayer, actually, by Adi Shankar Acharya and Devi. There are first four, which ends with Kuputro Jaye Ta Kochita Pi Kumata Bhavati. So Ku means bad. So Kinnara means she, she is evil-minded. No. So that's a description here. Basically, it is a description of the adjective for Gaye. She has evil design in her. So there is a Kinnara. With Kinnara, there is one Chati of Kinnara also. You know, but the Kinnara here is actually Kinnara, Kinnari. There is a Strilinga. tata adi sishye she just uh, was uh, lay down on the floor right pati the aso fallen uh, kinnare you know like uh, kinnara she kinnari she was like that so this particular chapter completed the plan of mantara mantara that kaikey must be brainwashed kaikey got completely brainwashed so kaikey is now being told every ideas of how to make this happen all that is set now the scene goes to dashratha entering into the antapura that's where the story is moving now so 10th sarga 40 verses in the sarga and the first nine uh, verses kaikey prepares herself in the inner apartment uh, whatever Ma mantara has said she is doing it so i am not going to repeat those because it's all that uh, you know soil to dress lying on the floor throwing all the abarnani here and there and uh, you know adi dukke adi dukhena all that uh, sort of a thing then dashratha enters into the apartment he is looking for kaikey kaikey is not to be found then finally he finds her here those then shlokas are giving all those details and when he sees her she is in great distress so she is asking what has happened i will sort it out for you what has happened all that uh, you know he says uh, dashratha asks what is the problem what has when such a nice thing is going to happen why is it uh, what is the problem she is not replying to many of those she is not at all replying to any of those anyway he is asking and he says should i do this should i do that i want to slog as i have taken just to give a sample of how uh, this whole strategy is working the way they thought it will work अतसारुषिता देवी सम्यक्वा विनिश्चय संवेशूम निवेश्य ब्रकटी मुखे अत देफ्टर ओके सा देवी ऋषिता शी इज एंग्री शी इज प्रिटेंडर हर ब्रॉट हर ऑल हर एंगर राइट samyak nischayam vinischayam krutva see nischayam itself is a good word they have put a upasarga v also on the top of it to tighten it very well see, this is the power of sanskrit you can put two three upasargas and make it very tight right you can so it, it nischayam is enough 
he says vinishcham you can put a suvinishcham also you can put a su also before that to make it if you it all depends on how much strength you want to give the message that you want to give so vinishcham samyak krutva so you can remove the samyak and put a su there it's the same meaning suvinishcham krutva also you can say same meaning but anyway so the upasarga is just making it even more clearer and unambiguous samyak vinishcham krutva having formally decided correct right? samvivesh samvivesh abala hmm? so she was lying there brukuti muke with a grim face face you know bhumo bhumo niveshya right brukuti bhumo niveshya okay so you know the grim face looking at the floor she just was lying on the floor so that is how uh, kaike is there चित्राणी Chitrani Malyani garlands also, if you want to take it that way. Divya, Divyani Abharanani cha. There are a lot of uh, nice, uh, uh, precious uh, necklaces and all that. Apavidhani, apa is away, stringing it away. Apavidhani, thani, okay. Kai keya thani boomim prapedire. It was sent by kai keya onto the floor. I mean, just like that, it's throwing like this. So that is what is being described in this shloka. That as mantra exactly said, she pretended herself to be this thing, threw everything out, and then she was just lying there, waiting for uh, Dasharatha to come. So first ten shlokas are how she prepared herself. Eleven shloka onwards, Dasharatha is coming in. So we have taken two shlokas out of the next twenty ten shlokas. सकैकेय गृह श्रेष्ठ रविवेश महायशा पांडुराब्रविवाकाश राहुयुक्त निशाक वाल्मीकि सखवी ब्यूटिफुल यूसेज हि सेज जस्ट लाइक इन लूनर एक्लिप्स राइट The Rahu who just you know the the gets into the Chandra and then captures it now like that this fellow is now getting trapped into something that is what he is saying here. This shloka is saying that actually, kaike yaha sreshtam griham pravivesha mahayasha ha. This great king, famous king, entered into this great apartment of kaike yi. And how was it? That is line one. Line two says, how did it look like? It looked like a lunar eclipse. <laughs> that is what he is saying. Second line is saying that. Second line is saying, pandura brahmiva kasham, white clouds. in the in the sky and nishakara nishakara is actually chandra chandra is a nishakara one who makes the night beautiful right that's why he is nishakara and rahu yuktam is a lunar eclipse just like he is getting trapped into this it is exactly like that so rahu yuktam nishakara like that he actually came uh, that is how valmiki describes Uh, how dasharada entered into uh, you know kaikeyi's uh, apartment he is eclipsed his mind is going to be eclipsed and that unmeel and nimilanam all that will require 14 he is nimilanam never happened upari gatam neva dasharada se nimilanam never happened unmeelanam never happened all that has never happened but he was eclipsed tato grihagato raja कैकेयी पर्य पृछत यता पूर्व विज्ञाय सर्वार्थलिप्सु अपंडिता सो इसे इन बिटवीन ही सा हर इन ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ बैड मूड एंड ऑल दैट देन दिस श्लोका सेस ततः गृहगत है राजा हैव वन हु हैज एंटर्ड इनटू हर हाउस कैकेयी पर्य पृछ सी अगेन पृछ इज आस्किंग Pariya pricha is repeatedly asking. That bit the pari prani paate na pari prashne na sevaya upadekshanti te gyanam yani na tattva darshan bhagavad gita. That pari pariya prichati means repeatedly asking. 
so in in bhagavad gita it is not asking inside it is it is not asking outside it is asking inside in vedanta it is asking inside but is here it is asking outside because he is again and again asking what happened to you pariya prichchata pari aprichchata pariya prichchata again and again he asked him yatha purvam avijnaya he didn't know what happened before he didn't know he was very naive he thought some problem general problem so without knowing what has happened before he repeatedly asked her and what kind of a lady is kaikeyi now that is the last two things it says sarva sarva swartha lipsum one who is interested only in swartha my benefit only kaikeyi was not like that but she has been now converted like that swartha lipsum apanditam she is become an apandita not pandita she has become foolish she lost her sense of discrimination because so those are the two adjectives for kaikeyi apanditam swartha lipsum one who is interested only in one's own thing without an iota of uh, common good and therefore they are apanditas they are not panditas so such a polish lady what happened to her he didn't know so he again and again asked her what is going on so that what is this shloka saying kasya vate priyam karyam kena va vipriyam kritam kah priyam labatam adya ko va samuhad apriyam samuh sumahad pri sumahad apriyam sumahad apriyam kasya vate priyam karyam so do you want to do something good to someone i'll do that please tell me so for whom do you want to do good things today kasya vate priyam karyam karaniyam is understood and i will do it all those are understood okay kasya vate priyam karyam kena va vipriyam kritam right has somebody spoiled you today has somebody you know done something wrong to you vipriyam kritam something which is not to your liking as something has happened like that that's a second thing kena by whom right kaha priyam labata madhya tell me who must be endowed with the favor i'll do it kaha priyam labata madhya kaha va su mahad apriyam tell me who has to be punished to the maximum i'll punish that also mahad apriyam something of greatest dislike to be done to someone i will do it so he is willing to do anything slowly he is coming out she is not talking in between she is so saying so many things she is just keeping quiet ீன் i think you should not lose your health by all these right karsham should not happen so masa karshin tava devi right sampari soshanam you whatever you want to ask you ask i will do avadya ha vadyatam kova somebody who should not be killed if you ask me to kill i'll kill so you see what level he is going now avadya ha vadyatam kova is there somebody who is not worthy of killing but you are telling me kill him i will kill him it's all implied i will kill him is implied there actually okay kova vadyo vimuchitam somebody has to be killed just because you told i will leave them if i will please you basically what he is saying is i will please you to, to any extent that is what he is what do you need i will do that right kova vadyo vimuchitam that also you tell i will do that daridra ha ko bavat bavati adya if some poor fellow has to really become rich that's what you feel i will for dana on him and make him i fulfill your wish whatever you want to tell me i will do that right dravyavan va abhi kinchana exactly so this is not the trap that you just see next sarga you see the trap these are all preparation for the trap the trap is very powerful i have taken only two shlokas but if you read it you will find the trap is really powerful we'll see that but they are all walking he is entering into the mouse trap actually he is pravesha 
so all these in that so in the 10th chapter the psychology which mantra said is working and what is that that is dasharatha is feeling the pressure because this lady is not answering he is asking and asking and asking she is not even looking at her looking at him not even opening her mouth so the pressure is building on the king that is what you see in 10th chapter now we will see in the 11th sarga what happens in the first 10 verses Nakaike never asked the boon. She first gets a promise. You tell me that you will promise, then I will open my mouth. That is the trap. Not only that, there is a shloka which says, after he said, I will, then you know what she says. He says, let the whole uh, gods and the world be witness to what you and I are doing. Such kind of words are all there. He really puts her into a, such an ethical dilemma and a moral dilemma. And so there is no other option but to actually utter that, give that. She prepares it so well. And this is all criminal ideas, which are all very nicely portrayed in this uh, Mantara Kaikei episode that we see. And then Kaikei remains the Sharada of the two boons that he promised to give her. And then she, she spells out the boons. Exactly what. She only merely said two boons. She never said what it is. Finally, she says what those are. That's what happens in. 11th Sarga. Pratijam Pratijan Ishva Yeditum Kartum Ichati Ichasi Atata Biaharish Yami Yedabi Prati Tamaya. See, you first, you first, you know, be ready. I am not putting a pressure on you. You first be ready. Pratijyam Pratijyanishwa. You make up your mind. Edi kartum ichati. Tom kartum ichati. You gave me a promise. You make up your mind whether you want to really, you know, give up, live up to your promise. See, these are all the traps. You make up your mind whether you want to live up to the promise that you gave me. That's your choice. Right? If you are, if you make up that mind, then I will tell what it is. I am not in a hurry. So, Atta Tad Vyaharishyami Yet Abhi Prarthitam Maya. So, you make up your mind, you tell me I have made up my mind, I will definitely give you the boons that you ask, then let me tell you what it is. I am not in a hurry. So, she goes very, very slowly, one step at a time. That's what he says. Atta Tad Vyaharishyami. If you have come to that frame of mind that I will keep up my promise and you are telling me that, then let me open my mouth. Until then, I am not uh, necessarily have to open my mouth. That's what she is implying by this shloka. Atman avatma jais chanyai rineyam manus jarshabam tenara amena kaikeyi shapete vachana kriyam. Look at the mood of, look at this, this character called Dasharata. Dasharata is saying, right, is, what is he saying? Atmana, atmanava, either mind, atma jaihi cha. Anyehi or somebody else's Brune, I will I am willing to give up myself or my sons or others for what? He says Manu Manusha Manuja Manujersha Manujershabam, the great uh, the real you know good people among the Manushyas, which is Rama. This is the adjective for Rama, right? Ramena Tena Ramena in for the sake of Rama. I am willing to give up myself. I am willing to give up my other people. And I am willing to give up my other son's life also. Therefore, in the, name, in the name of Rama, for the sake of Rama, I am willing to actually give you a... See how it is coming. It is coming from the other side. So he says, Shapete vachana kriyam. So what uh, uh, that I will give, I promise I will give in the name of Rama, and for that sake, I am willing to give up everything. My other sons, he didn't say Rama, but he had to give up his son Rama finally in, in some ways. But that is what he says. This is the mood of Dasharatha with which he was facing this situation when this was going on. Satya Sando Mahateja, Dharmagya Susamahitaha, Varam Mamadata Tesha, Tan Meshunvantu Daivataha. This is what I said, sir. What is he saying? He is giving, Kaike is giving such lofty references to Dasharatha first. 
What are those references? Satya Sandaha. The Sharada is embodiment of truth. He'll keep up what he said. That's what uh, you know Kaiki is saying. Satya Sandaha. Maha Tejaha. He is, he is a great person with such tejas, which means he is endowed with knowledge and uh, samskaras. That's why the tejas will come. Tejas does not come by putting a thousand watts bulb behind us. Uh, it comes through good samskaras, it comes through good uh, knowledge and all that. Maha Tejaha Dharmagnya. Dharmam Janati Iti Dharmagnya. He knows Dharma very well. He will not go, uh, you know, beyond the. You know, this thing of dharma. Dharma jnana, susamahita. He is well, you know, carried himself. He is not a very agitated person. He is a very stable, temperamentally a sound person. This kind of adjective she is saying for Dasharata. Hmm? Susamahita. Mama varam dadati. A person of this stature is going to give you varano. That's what she is saying. A person who is embodiment of Dharma, who is embodiment of Satya, who is Mahatejas, who is well, temperamentally well in his place, he is not lost himself, he is a very, you know, you know, when people write the will, finally they say, I am fully, you know, in my, this thing. So that is the Susamahita, actually. Uh, yes. Yes. So all that he says, Dadati Yeshaha Varavar, Tatu Me Shunvantu Daivataha. She is making everybody party to it. She is saying, Oh gods, you please listen to it. He is going to give me a Vara. He is a Satyasanda. He is a Dharmagnya. And he is in a very stable temperamental mind. He is now going to give a Vara. Let the whole world and the Devas. She is putting pressure like that. This is a real trap. Really fixes uh, Dasharatha, he cannot go anywhere. Nothing but he has to agree to what uh, she really asks for. That is what uh, he is actually saying. This is what, uh, so Kaike really brings him, brings him to such a, it is like, a, you know, this uh, Pashu which is brought for the final Ahuti, Bali Pashu. Like that he, he has brought her. Tat Pratish Shrutya Dharmena Nachedhyasya Simevaram Adyevahi Prahasyami Jeevitam Tvadvimanita Tat Dharmena Pratishrutya Nached Yasya Simevaram Right? Adyevahi Prahasyami Jeevitam Tvadvimanita she is uh, by bringing him so much to the brim of acceptance. She also introduces the element of fear now, to make sure that you know things cannot go wrong. So he says, "What you have said, if you are not giving, and I will just give it up. I will give my life." She says, "Adhyayva hi prahasyami." Why? Tod vimanita, vimanita, avamanita. These are all you know. Manita is the opposite of that. Vimanita. Which means you have walked out of the contract and belittled me in front of everyone. I thought you were promised and I am making a commitment and asking you are just giving me up. So because of that, I will give up my life. If you are not giving, first she says he is Dharmagnya, right? Mahateja, Satya Sandha, Susamahita. He is going to give the Vara. All Devas, please listen. Now also she tells if you are not giving the Vara, she is still not spelled what it is. She has made sure that there is not a micron millimeter she can move this way, micron meter she can move this way, that way. Brought her to that, then only she said what the boon was. So it's all done in such a way, it's a perfect trap in which uh, Dasharatha was finally, he had no other choice. He's walked into this contract in many ways. So that's what she's saying here. Vang matre natada raja kaikeya sovashe kritaha prachas kanda vinashaya pasham rgaivatmanaha. So these are all in between, in between Valmiki puts his views on what is happening. So this shloka, Valmiki Ramayana is full of like that. In between, he will say what is happening. So 20 seconds, 20 seconds shloka is saying, Vang matre na tada by, by that, by the course of events that has happened so far, tada. Vang Matrena Raja 
Kaikeya Sovashe Krithaha. He has, she has trapped him by his word. Vang Matrena. He has completely trapped Dasharada by the word. This is Valmiki's, uh, you know, narration of what is his understanding of what has happened. This is not daily story. He is putting his shloka there. Yeah, his view. Vang Matrena Tada Raja Kaikeya Sovashe Krithaha. Then the next line, he again gives a beautiful upama. Like what it is. It is like a deer which is getting trapped. That's what it says. It says, Prachaskandaha. One who jumps into it. Prachaskandaha vinashaya. Pasham mriga iva atmanaha. Atmanaha vinashaya mriga iva. Pasham. Just like uh, you put a thread and then catch the uh, deer. The same way, by his own words, Kaikeyi trapped uh, the Sharata. This is Valmiki's uh, view on what has happened in the story. He has put, uh, uh, you know, this kind of a shloka. After all that, she says what it is. She never said until then. She merely said, you promise, you promise. In front of all of you, you are telling, you are agreeing, you are saying, I will do it for the sake of Rama. Say for the sake of Rama, Rama has to go. That is your problem. You are saying you will say for the sake of Rama. You please say. And if you don't say anyway, I will give up my life. All that she said, then she finally comes to the what exactly she wants. That comes much later. That's the last. Right? Abhisheka samarambaha ragavasyo pakalpitaha ane naiva abhishekena bharato me bhishichyatam She says, Abhisheka samarambaha kritaha. You have already made all arrangements. See, in, in many of these movies, you will find all uh, marriage arrangements will be there. Finally, this hero, this lady will be taken, the heroine will be put there. <laughs> so, like that, she is suggesting. What she is suggesting is you have done all arrangements. So, you don't have to do any new arrangement. I am not asking you to do any new arrangements. You have done the arrangements. He says, Abhisheka Samarambaha both. For what? Ragavasya Upakalpitaha. That you did keeping Ragava in mind. That is okay. But the fact is, tomorrow morning, all arrangements have been made, all VAPs have been in, you know, invited, all arrangements have been made. Then she says, Anena Yeva, using that only. You don't have to do anything different. Anena Yeva Abhishekena, use that same function, right? Barataha me Abhishichyat, me Barataha Abhishichyatam. So that is the first boon. All arrangements you have made, you just use that, replace. Global replace Rama with Bharata. <laughs> That's it. This is what uh, she is actually saying. That's the first thing. Then second she says, Nava Panchasa Varshani, Dandakaranyam Ashitaha, Chira Jina Jata Dhari, Ramo Bhavatu Tapasaha. Nava Panchacha, Nava Panchacha Varshani, 9 plus 5. Nava is 9, Pancha is 5. Nava Panchacha Varshani is 14 years. Navapanchasa Varshani Dandakaranyam Ashritaha. Let him let his refuge be Dandakaranya. Ashraya is refuge. So Ashritaha is one who's refuge, one who has taken refuge in Dandakaranya, which is Rama. So you ask him to go to Dandakaranya for 14 years. And how should he be there? Chira Ajina Jatadari. The Ajina is uh, the, the deer skin. Chira is the bark of the tree. So, Chira Ajina Jatadari. So, let him be like an ascetic. These are the indications of leading an ascetic life, not a, a you know, princely life, not a life of a Yoraja. So, what is being indicated there is he should give up everything and uh, lead a simple life of a being an ascetic. So, Chira Ajina Jatadari Ramo Bhavatu. Tapasaya. Let us do tapas. His job is let him do tapas. That's all. Let him 14 years, you let him lead a life of a sannyasi sort of a thing. 14 years in Dandakaranya, let him do tapas. That's all he should do. Whereas the arrangements that you have made already, use the same arrangement, replace Rama with Bharata and do the Abhisheka. So those are the two things finally she asked. Okay. Now I want to really bring some... Uh, so what... What have we done so far? And what is the learning here? Just like the brainwashing that we saw last time. 
see there is this story ayodhya kanda is that's why I, i feel it is very very important because we go through you know every one of that is being talked about in every sarga in our life at some point in time that's why the, i always feel particularly youngsters must read this much of disappointments and surprises and this and that and the you know variety of the world which can be deceptive which can be they're all very rich in ayodhya kanda so i keep saying youngsters must read ayodhya kanda because that really gives them an understanding of life in his own this thing so if you look at here what is the most striking thing is kaikeyi look at kaikeyi a person we all know that in our life but then we see it in such a beautiful expression of playing it out through this story see for all of us the biggest problem is mind look at this kaike kaike started by saying i am extreme she actually was telling mantra what happened to you what is your problem rama is like bharata for me that's how you see it in sarga you know 6 and 7 she was telling mantra have you anything gone wrong with you but then mantra is able to brain wash her so the message in these nine sargas sarga 4 to 9 if you really ask me 4 to 10 or 11 whatever if you ask me is what is what happens to this mind what can happen to somebody's mind somebody's mind can be taken anywhere and it can destroy that person to any extent for which some brainwashing can happen this can happen and so on so this mind vishaye there is so much in our purana so in bhagavata purana in ekadasha skanda there is a beautiful uh, episode 23rd chapter there is a nice shloka there i will narrate that story then i have taken only two uh, so entire sarga has to be read and another thing i want to tell you because when i was reading it yesterday this struck me our ancestors had another very nice practices if uh, if in a particular sarga or in a particular series of sarga if there is a very very important message which is only for our good good for loka sangra good for an individual then what they do is they put a palashuti <laughs> ganga avatarana you had palashuti i don't know how many of you i mentioned it because it is a loka sangra so that 23rd sarga 23rd sarga of the ekadasha skanda of shrimad bhagavatam go and see there is a palashuti krishna tells to uddhava it is a narration of this story by krishna to uddhava but then there is a beautiful palashuti krishna says if people read this sarga if their mind is agitated something happens it will all become because that's such a beautiful story there it's about 70 shlokas beautiful shloka i really enjoyed reading it yesterday when i sat and then i read it because i i wanted to talk about mind i am i was reminded of that episode i knew i found it then i read that particular sarga and there's a palashuti because it is so good to read that sarga so the story goes like this there is one brahmin who had a lot of money he did agricultural trade and all that see that time doing agriculture trade is a measure of wealth that's why in taide you know lomasam pashubis swaha he say you need a lot of pashus it's an agricultural economy the only way you can become very wealthy is to do agriculture at that time 5000 10000 years and so on so this brahmin was a doing great agriculture he had a lot of money but this fellow was so much after money that he at uh, the shloka some of the shlokas in the chapter says he didn't do even this panchamaha yajnas he did nothing he uh, paid nothing to you know in bhagavad gita chapter 3 that eight nine shlokas uh, about uh, yajna it says tena eva sah na you know apradayabhyo you know what is what do you get if you don't give to others you are you're like a thief pachanti atma karana this is what krishna says so here he says he says this man did nothing he was only you know furthering his wealth and so on his sons hated him daughter in laws hated him he had nobody who liked him like that the story goes then what happens is the krishna says it's a narration of krishna to uddhava he says because these followers like these that uh, wealth disappeared from him in many ways some went by fire some king took it some his own son stole it like that like that there are few shlokas so this man becomes completely pauper and as in in bajagovinda he says 
right? Gatavati vayo in deha paaye, bariya bipadi dasvin kaaye. Like that, you know, when money is gone, so they very, very throw him out. So this Brahmana, ones who was very wealthy and all that, is run down to nothing. Then his realization comes. So he goes into the forest. He was chased out. He goes into the forest, and then he reflects, ponders, and what? How have I wasted? He says, "I wasted a lot of my time thinking foolishly about this money. I have wasted a lot of my time. I have very little time. What do I do?" Like that. So he transforms into a very pious being. Then there are slokas. He says, when he comes with a bhiksha patra and with a danda and so on, some people steal away his bhikkha. They don't like him. They take away his bhiksha patra. Some people urinate on his head. Like the shlokas are there. Some people take even the danda and then break it and throw it away, chase him away. Sometimes whatever bhiksha he he gets, he comes. People take it away and run away. But this this story goes like that. So like that, Krishna tells all this story. Then the story ends. He says how it is. He repented and all that. Then the third part of that sarga is again on a longer meter. I am going to take the first shloka from that. Some forty third shloka or something. That the reflection of the Brahmin. Brahmin say Brahmin at the end of so many bad things happening to him, he never felt bad. Then there are some ten, twelve beautiful shlokas. At least that shlokas we must read, and the Balasudhi is after that. Beautiful shlokas. I will only take two shlokas out of that. So very nice skanda and a very nice chapter. He says like this: Na yam jano me sukadukka he tuhu na devatatma graha karma kala ha mana param karanam amananti samsara chakram parivartaye dhyat. The first. The first shloka in that series of the reflection of the Brahmin after he has gone through all that is this. He says, "Na I am jano me sukha dukha." These people, you know, hit stones at me. They did not give me food. They chased me out of the village. But he said, "Na I am jana ha me sukha dukha he to." I will not find fault with them at all. Mama sukha and dukha, they are not responsible. That's what he is saying in this. This is the first shloka he says. ना अयम जनों में सुख दुख का हेतु हो ना दिस पीपल राइट ना देवता आई विल नॉट पुट द ब्लेम ऑन डेटीज दिस इज अवर कॉमन माइंडसेट यू नो व्हेन समथिंग बैड हैपेंस टू अस वी थिंक गॉड हैज नॉट यू नो गिवन मी देवता इज नॉट लाइक दैट वी थिंक दिस ब्राह्मण हैज इवॉल्व सो मच इन आफ्टर ऑल द एडवर्सिटीज ही वेंट थ्रू ना देवता ना आत्मा हियर आत्मा मींस बॉडी ही सेज माय बॉडी इज नॉट द कास my body is not the cause i am very clever as we think uh, so many things about us the atma anatma tattva vichara is very important in life so all anatma if you take it as atma it is a source of perennial distress for us you know anatma body is anatma right so he says na devata na graha he says i don't have to go after uh, astrologers i don't have to do nameology gemology dictology datology all that he says no no grahas can't do it it is not because of that na graha karma na karma it is not even my past karma i mean he has reached such level of he has understood an important principle na karma na kala ha it is not even time people say bad time bad time is one version of graha these are all close cousins he says that's what the first line says na yam jano me sukha dukkha hetu na devata atma the na you have to take it to everyone na atma na graha na karma na kala ha then what he says manaha param karanam amananti the the source of sukha and dukkha is only your mind this is what this mind is the one which was completely swung away in kaikeyi's case this is the problem all of us go through in our life the event can be different it is the mind which actually creates so much in, in panchadashi vidyaranyasya panchadashi he has written 15 chapters in panchadashi there is a nice uh, couple of shlokas i have quoted in one of my gita lectures also once but in that vidyarnya says there is one so father his son is already dead he doesn't know it so the mind is ruffling in happiness he gives an example like that until he knew he was all in happiness then he gives a counter example there is another son nothing happened to him somebody told something happened to him this, this man is in great distress nothing happened 
So what is he was giving that example to say that moment the mind has taken a position, that's the end of the story. Our lives are like that. So the biggest challenge and the biggest exercise for us in our life is to think about this, this apparatus called mind. That's what this Brahmana says. He says, Manaha Param Karanam Amananti, Samsara Chakram, this Manas goes through the Samsara Chakra. He says, the overpower the Manas, lots of your thing will be, your karma will be a depleting karma. It is not an increasing karma. That's why he says, Manaha Param Karanam Amananti, Samsara Chakram Parivartayet. Yet this Manas keeps on, if you keep your Manas very live, we have become very, very mind oriented. Small things upset us, you know. Small little things we get take up on. I mean, if you can give it a little bit, then our karmas will start shrinking. I'm talking in a very Vedantic sense now. Our karmas can shrink only when we are able to understand that this apparatus called mind has to be made as a non existent entity. Mind will be existing only when you take cognizance of it and you take uh, ownership of it. If we somehow try to understand this and slowly, slowly practice, the mind will be a non-existent entity because it is not a physical entity. It is only a concept. Mind is a software, not a hardware. Mind is just a software, not at all a hardware. You can't touch somewhere and say, this is mind. Mind is actually an, an idea of some something Thought beyond of that. Huh? It is a bundle of thoughts, actually. It is nothing but a bundle of thoughts. So if your thoughts can be reduced, then mind is reduced. So he started with that. He told so many shlokas, beautiful shlokas, long meter. But now there is an important message. That's why it's a long meter. It's a long, long meter in Bhagavatam in that section. As I remembered of the long meter actually. <laughs> anyway, I'll come back. One more shloka, I'll come back a little later. That's why Manusmriti also, he says, Manayeva Manushyanam Karanam Bandha Mokshayo Bandhaya Vishayam Sam Muktihi Nirvishayam Smritam in uh, Amrita Bindu Upanishad also, the same shloka is there. So, it is a mind which decides. So, Kaikeyi just got herself, gave up the thing on mind. So, in no time she transformed from a, a, a character which was worthy of worship to a character which became an object of great ridicule by her own son. When he comes back and then he blasts like anything. In fact, the other Kavis have written very differently by that. You know, the Champuramayana and other things you'll see. You know, Pratima Nataka. You know, all that, they have written it in a very different way. This particular episode and all these you know, Kavis have taken it and really, you know, uh, portrayed that in very different ways. That is what Krishna has said in Bhagavad Gita. Uddharet Atmana Atmanam Na Atmanam Avasadeyet. Right? In fact, if you have to explain this shloka, we have to go through these five sargas now. That is a message. This is a Vedantic thought and Ramayana Ayodhya Kanda gives us an idea in action. This character called uh, Kaikeyi, how she went through this process. So he says, Uddharet Atmana Atmanam. You lift yourself with your own mind. Na Atmanam Avasade. Don't you know, make yourself, uh, yourself should not be destroyed by using this mind in the wrong way. Then he says, Atmaiva hi Atmano Banduhu, Atmaiva Ripuhu Atmanascha. Whether your mind is your friend or enemy is in your hands. But that is a tool available. It is in your hands. What to do that? You want to perish with that, get destroyed with that, or you want to, you know, evolve yourself as a human being. For both, Krishna says, mind. That's why how it is, he says in the next sloka also. He says, Banduhu Atma Atma Atmanastasya Yeneva Atmeva Atmana Jitaha. If you are able to overpower your mind, meaning let mind play its only when it is required, then it becomes your friend. But if you are not able to control, Anatmanastu Shatrutve, Vartet Maiva Atmeva Shatruvata. You know, if you are not able to, you know, uh, develop that kind of orientation, your own mind will become the biggest enemy for you. These two slokas in Bhagavad Gita, we must remember when we talk about these five chapters and understand this character called Kaike. Kaike is only telling us that your mind, beware of your mind. It can be brainwashed. It can be, it is so fickle. It can go into all directions and destroy yourself in the process. That is what is coming through these uh, episodes that we see. 
So the the uh, Brahmana went on with so four, more shlokas. From 43rd shloka, I've gone to 48th shloka. There are many in between. I, uh, I as I told you, he says. Mano Mano Vashenya Hyabavan Samas Deva Manas Janan Yasya Vasham Sameti Bishmo Hideva Sahasa Sahiyan Yunjat Vashetam Sahideva Devaha. He reflects on what can this mind do? That's what this Brahmana finally said. He says Mano Vashe Anye Hyabavan. Every everybody is under the control of Manas. Manohi Vashe and Yehi, you know, Abhavans Maha, Deva Manascha, Na Anyasya Vasham Sameti. Mind will not let itself to be controlled by somebody else. But including God, everybody it can control. That is the power of the mind. The Brahmana is reflecting. He is saying, right? Manascha Na Anyasya Vasham Sameti. It will not that easily come under the control. That's why Krishna in actually chapter 6 is all about that. That's why he says, Abhyasena to Kaunte, Vaira Gena Chagrishyate, Asam Shem Mahabaho, Mano Dushnigraham Chalam, Abhyasena to Kaunte, Vaira Gena Chagrishyate. That's what he is saying there. It's all about Atma Samyama Yoga. That's why it's called Atma Samyama Yoga. Bishmo Hidevaha, Sahasaha, Sahiyan, Yunjiat Vashetam, Sahideva Deva. So Bishma is terrible. He says, This Manas is. Uh, it's a very terrible thing. It's like it's like the Lord of everybody. Bishmohi Deva. Manas is like a Deva. It has such a sway and control, is what he is saying. Yunjyat Vashetam Sahi Deva Deva. Everybody it will put it under its control. Even, even the gods, everybody it will bring it under the control. So this Brahmana kept on reflecting many things. For he, that first sloka he said, there are six slokas. He says why Graha is not the reason. Why Kala is not a reason. There is a separate, separate shloka. I didn't bring all of them. It will become too many for me to discuss. But th that set of shlokas he talks about, he says, Nayam jano me sukha dukkha hetuhu. Right? Na devata atma na graha karma kala. For each one of them, he has a shloka. Where he reflects, no, no, that is not what is manas. That is not what is this manas. Like that, this particular chapter, Eka, uh, this is Kandam, 23rd chapter. Nice chapter to read. Antime, there is one. Uh, Palashruti of uh, what will happen. Okay. This is a must read chapter actually. 112 uh, cha, The Lamentation of Dasharatha. Again, there is a message in this. Why we will see the lamentation today, we will not see much. I just brought only two shlokas. I thought we will stop there and continue the next class of that. But uh, while we go through the lamentation of Dasharatha, that is a message that we can get. So I want to also talk about it when we really, you know, conclude this particular sarga. But it's a very long sarga because the Sharada is really upset and he is shook, he is shocked beyond his imagination. We never expected that such a thing will be asked. Anyway, <coughs> so first 37 shlokas, it's a long sarga, 115 shlokas. First 37 shlokas, the Sharada tries to find the reasons for Kaike. Why is Kaike behaving like this? Right? And pleads to her, give up this idea. This is not a good idea. Please give up this idea. He tries, he finds out who corrupted your mind, why did it happen like that? He tries. 37 shlokas are like that. Then, you know what is the reply Kaikei gives? Kaikei gives the dangers of you not fulfilling the boon. She is threatening him even more. She is reminding to her, to Dasharatha, that the dangers of you not fulfilling the boon is bad for you, bad for me, bad for everyone. Really, she does that in this uh, 13 shlokas, 38 to 50. And then Dasharatha says, uh, if, if, if I grant this boon, which I have to, it looks like uh, it is all gone now. But he says, what is the after effect of that? He says, I will not survive. So many things he says. He says, uh, by sending Rama, I will just collapse. That's the end of the story. This will happen, that will happen, so many things he says. This lady is not going to anyway listen to all that. That's why he, going forward we will see. Dasharada will not say, Kaige will now take charge. Dasharada will be like a Manmohan Singh and Kaige will come to the front. <laughs> that will happen. Yeah, so <laughs> that uh, we will see. Dasharada cannot do that. 
So Kaikei will play up to 17 Sarga or 18 Sarga. Now Kaikei will call Rama and he will, all that will happen. We will see anyway. So the Shraddha narrates the after effects of this decision on him, on others, and then laments that what others will say, etc., etc., etc. Right? And the Shraddha also feels the decision will lead to his death and will spell doom for Ikshua Kures. So many things he tries to telling uh, this thing. But as this Brahmana says, mind is so powerful. If mind is gone, it is gone. And it has to be, you know, understood and properly to be, you know, courted so that, you know, we can get out of all this. So I <coughs> take a couple of shlokas and see, we'll continue. With Sarga, I thought we will see next class. But at least I will do a little bit, couple of shlokas and then we will. <laughs> you want the Palashruti? Okay, I'll bring the Palashruti. <laughs> From the uh, Ekadasa Skanda. I'll get that Palashruti. I'll do it. Tummayatma vinashanartam bhavanam som praveshita avijnana nripasuta vyali tikshna vishayata. Tummaya atma vinashartam bhavanam som praveshita. You brought me into this building. You brought me into this building only to destroy me. Is what Dasharada says. I didn't know. You, you know, Bhavati Eva Kari Tavati. You set everything and made me come here. For what? For my own Nashana. That's what he says. Then, Avijnanan Nripasuta Vyali Tikshna Vishayata. So he says, Nripasuta, right? I have actually brought Avignana without, without knowing, I have brought a king's daughter, which is Kaikeyi, who is going to actually finish me. That's what he's saying. He's saying without knowing, he's talking about why did I marry you in the first place? That's what he's saying here. Basically, that is what he is meaning here by saying this. He says, Avignana Nripasuta Vyali, Tikshna Vishayata. This is like a sharp snake, means. Venomous. Harpana Tikshna means venomous means tuck finished. You can't even go up to 40 Sasmita. <laughs> Something like Tikshna means it's a very venomous, uh, you know, it's a strelinga. So that's why female serpent. That's why because it's a strelinga, it is, uh, you know. Tikshna Visha Vyali Yata. So, you know, like, uh, like bringing a very venomous uh, snake. Unfortunately, he is now lamenting why I brought her, which is an old story. But that is what he is saying now. Para bhavati me pritihi drishtvatanayam agrajam apashyatastu me ramam nashta bhavati chetanam. Many times he told in this chapter. Same idea. Para bhavati me pritihi drishtvatanayam agrajam. Of all the sons, when I see the eldest son, which is Rama, right? This is para pritihi bhavati. I get very happy. The Sharata says, honestly, he says, this is what it is. I feel very happy of seeing Rama, right? Apashyata hatu. If there's no way I can see him. Now you are asking him, go for 14 years. That's why it is coming. Apashyata hatu. Me Ramam nashta bhavati chetana. Right? My chetana means this, uh, you know, you know, being normal in life. Chit. Chit means, you know, being, you know, being normal in life. That will go. Chitta Brahma will happen. Losing Chetana means, you know, I, will, I lose my sanity. It is not going to make any sense to me. That is what uh, Dasharatha uh, says here. Nanu te ragavas tulyaha. Bharate na mahatmana bhagusho hi subale tum kata kata ya se mama. You, you, Nanu, didn't you, were you not saying? Nanu is a question sort of a thing, right? Were you not uh, all the time telling me kata kata ya se mama? You are all the time telling me what? 
you said bharatena ragavah tulya you are always saying rama is bharata and rama are same to me that's what you are saying all the bahusha many times you have been saying why are you now changing you yourself have come and told many times that for you bharata and rama are the same that's what you have been telling in the past right satyena lokan jayati dinandane na ragavah guru susrushaya virah danusha yudhi shatravan shatravan so he says this rama is an extraordinary character which you know he says satyena lokan jayati he befriends he endears all the people by by his act of satya by the truthfulness he wins over the people satyena lokan jayati dinan danena jayati jayati is common for everyone dinan danena jayati ragavah have not he will become very endearing to them by giving them and making them feel happy so that they are not stressed of their day to day living and so on so that's what it is guru susrushaya jayati he wins over his guru by susrusha and here guru does not mean only guru guru first means mata pitra don't understand guru means some guru guru susrushaya means he was always at service to the parents because first gurus are parents then let's talk about others so guru susrushaya virah danusha yudhi shatravan with his power of his bow he can win the enemies so what is your problem he has everything first two sargas of ayodhya kanda people were pouring his lakshanas we saw it in great detail rama's lakshana was pouring and pouring and pouring by every one so israel only is you know sort of saying all that <coughs> this is how dasharatha starts and then it goes on but we will continue it in next class we'll do the mangala shloka and then we'll stop swasti prajabya paripalayantam nyayena margena mahi mahishah go brahmane pyo shubhamastu nityam loka samasta sukhino bhavantu kale varshatu parjanya prithivi sasya shalini desho yam kshobarahitah brahmana santu nirbhaya aputra putrina santu putrina santu pautrina adhana sadhana santu jeevantu sharadam shatam shrunvan ramayanam bhaktya yappadam padame vava sayati brahmanastanam brahmana poojyate sada hari ho okay we'll continue in the next class yeah yeah our nikhil has brought some prasadam from puri jagannath he goes to puri jagannath almost every dwadashi will bring prasadam here all our ekadashi vrata will become safalata please partake the prasadam